is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. Congratulations, Samantha. You were the competition winner to uh, open the store today. Tell us how it came about. Um, well, I entered the competition through the tag scene uh, email that I received and um, got the call on Monday afternoon to say that I'd won. And what was your reaction? Oh, I was very excited, jumping up and down. Extremely excited. <laughs> and what was the reaction of your family as well? Oh, they were really pleased for me. Yeah. Yeah. They know what big Tigers support that I am, so they yeah, could have been pleased. So tell us a bit about yourself. How long have you been a Tigers fan? Uh, since I was 14, so about 20 years now. Yeah. So um, what was your first game, can you remember? Um, it was Tigers v Bath. Um, back in the day when Neil Back was playing, he was my favourite player at that time. Your favourite player now? Uh, Jordan Murphy. Okay. So you've met Jordan Crane and Craig Newby. How has that been today? Yeah, that's been great. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure to meet the players. Um, you watch them all the time and, and to meet them in person is just the icing on the cake, really. Excellent. And what's your, your first impressions of the new Tiger store? It's very good, yeah. It's, it's um, modern, it's, um, it's very well laid out, um, and I'm, yeah, I really like it. Jordan, here we are at the opening of the new store in Market Street. What do you make of it? Yeah, no, it's really nice, really, really well done out, like the one at uh, Welford Road, so uh, I think it'll be successful. There's been a good turnout as well, a lot of fans here this morning. Yeah, there's a few, a few, few signatures, a few photos, so it's uh, not too bad. And is there anything that you've got your eye on? Uh, the Leicester Tigers dartboard, actually. Uh, it's, uh, that would look nice in the training ground or, or at my house, so it would go all right. You fancy yourself as a bit of a dart player? Not really, I've got the belly for it, but uh, that's about it. Talk to the belly, how's the injury going? Yeah, it's good. I uh, went to see the surgeon yesterday, really pleased with how things are going and, and uh, I'm ahead of where I should be. Um, at the moment, so you know I'm happy as far as it's going, and uh, and hopefully I'll be back back fresh for next season. How difficult is it watching from the sidelines? Yeah, it's probably the most difficult part about being injured, having to watch the ball, especially what they've gone through the last two months. It's it's been tough, and not being able to do anything about it, just sitting and watching, and uh, it's uh, def definitely been a tough time. But hopefully now the boys are back, uh, we'll uh, we'll start picking up some points and make that a little bit easier for me and a little bit easier on the heart as well. Does that sort of change the mood around the training ground, having those uh, internationals back from the World Cup? Yeah, I think it obviously brings a, a massive increase in confidence seeing those guys ar around you. Um, and I think it, it will make the guys who have played as well play that little bit better, uh, play, playing with quality players. So um, I think it can only be good for us. And I think uh, the guys will hopefully be raring to go and put in a good performance uh, tomorrow night. Can you see we are at the opening of the new store in Market Street. What's your first impressions of it? That's Decent, uh, brilliant spot. Here we got right in the middle, so people have been wandering through. It's quite busy already, so um, it's good to get the brand out uh, outside of Welford Road. And then, is there anything that you've got your eye on, maybe for uh, the Christmas of stocking filling? I was looking around for an All Black jersey, but they uh, obviously sold out coming up to the World Cup final. But uh, there's a few things uh, I might get my daughter something. She likes to wear the Tiger stuff when she's about, so we'll see. You mentioned the All Blacks there, but it's a World Cup final on Sunday. Prediction from you? I don't know, I'm not predicting it, predicting. I want the All Blacks to win, but I've uh, wanted them to win before, so I'm, I'm just going to keep it to, to that. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm nervous, yeah. Um, just for the country, really, more than, you know, like, I just want the game to start, and I can't imagine how those players are feeling. You know, it's been uh, four years, you know, on top of four years, on top of four years since, um, you know, heartbreak, so hopefully that they can resurrect the the nation's hopes on Sunday. Where would you be watching? I'll be at home. Yeah. Mm, on the couch over here, a couple of Milo and um, into it. Yeah. And just a word on yourself, how's the injury coming along? Good, yeah. Uh, just if anyone's watching, I'll be playing before Callum Green. That's Callum Green, uh, second row from uh, the Tigers. I'll be playing before him, which is hopefully around about 1st of January at this stage. Um, that's what I've got on my old Christmas wish list is to, is to get back for Tigers. Why do uh, why don't cats play uh, cars in the jungle? I don't know. Why don't cats play cars in the jungle? There's too many cheaters. <laughs>
Why do squirrels swim on their back? I don't know. Why do squirrels swim on their back? To keep their nuts dry.